Okay, mm -hmm. I think that covers all of our players now. Surely, surely yes. nobody's going to feel terribly left out here, right? Yes, yeah, so we check up our ledger yeah, then, see who is actually winning it, because you got to be in it to win it. Yeah, okay, we'll check the score comparison here. Who's got the most? If we don't pay attention to the Ottomans, and that's... Uh, that's pretty easy to do. Pretty easy well, we to do. we got a filter for, for players guys. these days. Yeah, why not? Let's give that, that a go. That's a very good idea. Oh, wonderful. Okay, Ethiopia, they are still leading the way, because they have uh, loads coming in from their two victory cards. And they already have the points from Central Egypt and Mogadishu. They'd be able to secure it even more if they decided to stab Kilwa. But well, that's that up would, to them. Hmm, that would get rid of their uh, their one friend remaining because Persia is not going to be defending anyone right now. Yes. And then we have our Velfa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got to hand it to Korea. Um, the letter Z is really ever since the clutches of Martin Wiz over in Ching were released. He's really coming to his own now. Yes, he's been set free. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of expansion you would never see out of him alone. He mm. gobbling up his uh, former, not quite master, but some kind of overlord thing um, going on there. Maybe mentor, I don't mm. know. Um, uh, we'll go with that. So he's doing well for himself, and that is reflected in him being number two. And then we have the Starnan. He is always in it to win it. Yes, he's... Um, he's None of that role-playing crap from Star no, I, I <laughs> Not only is he in third place right now, he's almost got the most points coming in every month. Certainly off the, almost as much yeah. as Inca. Yeah, but if he really wanted to solidify his goal, he would have to uh, take on Vijayanagar, and he is not going to do that, I'll tell you right now. He's, he's very loyal to his allies, you oh, know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, Vijayanagar is nothing but loyal. And yes. if you were to stab him, I think he'd just look at you like a, uh, an abandoned puppy. Yeah, like, no, and you've got, got to hand it to cats. He's got yeah. those puppy eyes. Yeah, I mm. mean, uh, I gave cats a 404, I think, when I was giving out ratings. Yeah. I'm not so sure I'd go against that. Was that the internet so. error, is it? Uh, four, <laughs> oh, 404, <laughs> diplomacy not found. Yes. Because he, he is good, he's great on the battlefield, he manages yeah. his country well, but he just, he <coughs> only follows. Yes. And he will pay the price for his lack of ambition. To be fair, that, that might get him one or two points in dip, reflecting on this, but to go higher, you really have to lead. Yes. And he, he is always playing second fiddle to the Gujarati. I mean, Gujarati started with this and now have all of this. Vijayanagar already started with this. So you can see who's getting the most out of this relationship. Well, he has got, he's got a little foothold there yeah. in Arabia. Yeah, it's interesting. And, you know, it might be time, you know, the pendulum has shifted. It's time for... Gujarat to be oh, crushing the Rebels. Oh, cats a war. Who's, who's he attacking? Okay. Oh, it's all part of the Jampur. All right, so uh, just crushing. joined in. Yeah, maybe Gujarat was having trouble with Jampur and needed some backup He's from Vijayanagar. Oh, did he start his own war? Oh, yeah, yes. this is their own one. Looks like they are going to clean up the map here. I don't think there's going to be anything left of them here. Although, eh, yes. all you need is some occupations to come back. We're being asked what did Persia lose to the Ottomans. Their well, pride, not much. their pride mostly. Yes, their pride, their dignity. Yeah, but all these uh, cores you see here, all these cores. But Any now, hope of victory. This is quite interesting because now cats. Ottomans is on Cat's door, and uh, the Ottomans are lacking a rival. Yes, and they might just see Vijayanagar as uh, somebody could, that they could want. Could be there. the the lucky rival for you tonight. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> now the Ottomans, however, are in war in Italy. Which is a curious choice. If hmm, why are they getting involved here? They're attacking Luca in the Parmian. They're allied with Parma. Well, I mean, I like cheese. <laughs> yeah, who I'm doesn't? I don't know it's ham, isn't it? Yeah. And uh -huh. cheese. I'm, I'm more yeah. Parma ham man than yeah. Parmesan. <laughs> why not both? But no, it looks like there can be only one green here, so uh, Parma is battling it out with Luca. Kind of hand it to Parma. I mean, I don't even think they start the map existing, so they've done no, well. Everyone too. needs a hobby. Yeah. So they've done well here. Obviously, not Parma's new hobby is existing. Yeah. Well, they've lost their capital already. They're trying to get back, but the idea of just having... Okay, it must be the green alliance here that's yes. doing something for them. Yes, yeah, so it's just... They're obviously bringing forward sustainable development. And that is exactly how Sicily continues to survive in Zeta, because the Ottomans go, well, what about Zeta? We already own that, don't we? Don't we? Yeah, probably. It's green. And they're going to so. ally with Silesia. Uh, no, they're looking okay there. But, but clearly yeah. Persia was the wrong shade of green. Yeah, too dark. 
Yes. I think the Ottomans the Ottomans just want to get closer to their ally Gujarat. Yeah. And they're allied with Vijayanagar. So oh, that was kind, kind of quite quite good, good move yeah, there. Getting cozy with the strongest AI, yes. so nothing nothing too shabby about uh, yes. Gujarat's play here. And since there was an utter failure of these allies to actually stick together for a war, yes. all of their enemies have uh, overpowered them. Persia's days are numbered. They're a dead nation stuck between two. Uh, well, stuck between three if Nagai decide... No, Nagai are left friendless. Ooh. Well, Nagai have a dream. They're victory, they have a victory card on Muscovy. And they must be getting closer. Aye, they... they oh, no, they're maybe this. getting less close. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, might have been white peace coming out of this when the Ottomans came knocking. Yeah, possibly. Obviously, not quite what he wanted. Okay, Trintragula also enjoying war with Lunda. I don't know if it's to prevent too much Yamana incursion, or maybe well, Yamana, Yamana were having difficulty and needed some backup. Oh, no, Yamana oh. just taken the one province. Oh, how very humble. Yes, that's not a word we often there's use. There's not the same sentence as Grugi that no. often, but there's always a first time. Yeah, but it looks like Kielwa are here to stake their claim. If we take Kielwa and we look at Lunda here, Lunda can be gobbled up in two wars. Now, Fido has decided to start a war. Now, we all remember how successful it went from last time. Okay, but it's just it's just his good old friend down in Malacca. Yes, yeah, this is like his annual tribute run where he just comes down and starts demanding stuff. Yeah, and he no longer has Malacca as a rival. They've, I can see uh, with his turbo development that yeah. Ayutai are probably too strong to now have Malacca as a, uh, yeah, as so a as rival. So they might be coming down. Just they might just had enough up. of just... Uh, maybe they're going to loot some land. Possibly. Mm, uh, maybe for money, but possibly for land. I mean, we have grassland here, out in Johor and Kedah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, even here in uh, Patani. Not bad land as well. A delicious tropical wood too, mm -hmm. so... We'll see. It's hard to read uh, oh. Fido's mind, but mm. he always loves his economical power plays. Yes. I do really think yes, he's he was. He did have high ambitions at the start of this game of playing something other than an economic game and then went bugger it. <laughs> Why break a habit? Why not just stick to our impure We seem to have an incoming transmission from the man himself. Oh, what's, what's he saying? Oh, He's just giving us a heartbreak. Oh, sorry. Yes. Je sorry, Fido. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Didn't mean to. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Just did. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um. Oh, no! Oh, I, I got excited there. I thought it was war with Yamana, but no, it's war with Yarkand. Just Seems getting, getting a bit more mountains. I uh, but uh, clearly wanting that gold, which I always forget which province it is. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh. I, I had assumed that Diavia would be the one taking it. I guess I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, Gneve Norm is at war with somebody. Oh boy, what could it mean? What could possibly go wrong for no guy there? Aye. It's war with Sweden. Attacker or defender? What do you think? Defender. Attacker oh. against Sweden. My goodness he me. He really wants it all. Now, we're you got to hand it to Grievenom. He never learns. Did he actually... Did Lithuania take this recently? Oh, the Sunset Invasion has been launched. Oh boy, launched. He's... What's happening here? It's a war against Portugal. The Incan Conquest. Where are you, our Incan friends? Okay, they've decided, yeah, we're just going to oh, dock up over at Lisboa. Yeah, some people criticise CK too. I mean, look how historical it is. Yeah. He didn't quite bring enough cannons to make this a fast siege, and he's not blockading it, so I think he might be in Lisboa for a while. Yeah, well, you know, it's a nice place. Weather's quite good. And, yeah, I don't think the British are going to be helping out too much since they are being utterly crushed by the Brunei. No surprises there. Yes. I mean, what 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 other landmarks are there of Britain that have been graced by the king? Oh, not much actually. Uh, I'm, I'm like a fine wine. <laughs> don't don't travel so well. No, don't travel well at all. <laughs> but however, being, to, being to, in Sweden is a special import. Yes, to to appease our large and rabid Western Isles fan base, mm -hmm. I hope that. That uh, Daniel will find it in his heart to free the people of the Western Isles from British rule. Yeah. Uh, they'd look better in blue. Yes, I mean, blue is definitely... Oh. I've got to say, though, having been to the Western Isles, the beaches didn't look that good. No. <laughs> I mean, it's it's very tropical looking, in fact. I, I ate some good fish when I was in the Western Isles. Had some decent whiskey. Um, that's about as far as it went. Yeah, I've got to say that, you know, 
No, it didn't look that kind of almost tropical blue. No, this was <laughs> no, not. No. This is not how it looks. I have to say, yes, Western Isles doesn't quite look I like that. I gotta say that the Visit Scotland campaigns for tourism have really been reaching out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> if this is the kind of reach they have. Yes. Oh my. Okay, so uh, Orkney is is not. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that that's not the old man ahoy there. I'm no. I'm telling you now. <laughs> okay. So Bratton sieging away, doing his thing, day by day. Mm. No, no intense wars going on right now. MC started a new war. Obviously, right. must have taken whatever. Yeah, they did that. Now they're gunning down at Utsan because uh, she did say she wanted to bet. I mean, it's lovely mountains, and uh, subject to Bengal, and I don't think Bengal is going to be defending against this. They finally. Too they successful. finally earned the status of dead nation, have Bengal. We'll see. Well, oh, no, they're, they're on the march. Oh. 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 <laughs> Poor. The great defense of Shangtang. I think that's like three people and a yak up there, and they have expelled the mighty Mong Yang army. Although I've got a feeling there's Mong Yang can bring on the pain. Yeah, I think they'll be back for more. Unlike Fido. Oh. Well, mm. Fido made it eventually. Eventually, yeah. I mean, he's... But clearly. So we have a great advertisement from Michigan in the chat. If you want crap beaches, try Michigan. We have one of the US's longest no uh, longest coastline. It's all grey, brown sand and gravel. This, Sounds like Aberdeen. This message was brought to you by Visit Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sponsored, but if we were. Yes. Still wouldn't be Michigan. Yes. <laughs> Michigan doesn't do sponsorships. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just doesn't, in fact. You know, it's like... uh, are we going to see an art pack for these Western Isles and other <laughs> terrains? Oh, now well, now you mention it, yeah. I got a feeling that we just might be able to sell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just, we'll give you your commission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give you, give you ten percent of all sales. Mm -hmm. Send you two euros in the post. Yes, yes. The Western Isles art pack. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, when we when we put like everything we can possibly think of into the game, it's like, well, we still need to put out something else. The the art pack for the Western Isles. Yes, lesser known beaches art <laughs> pack. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what our fans would want. <laughs> Ooh. So. Oh, people are curious about institutions. We have a bit of a lull. Can that, do that's, a bit? A, that's a great idea. I saw that earlier, but we were yeah, yeah, we were busy that. though. Yeah. Okay, so feudalism everywhere. I mean, no, nobody doesn't have uh, feudalism right now. Renaissance, much and such the same. It's everywhere, and it started in mainland. Hmm. The heck is mainland? Oh, there it is. That's an eye. That's my uh, my hmm. land. Milan. So, so the, Aus the Austrians are so pompous, they come into uh, Italy and say, no, this is my land. Uh, I'm guessing it's their version of Milan. Uh, colonialism, that spawned over in Owari, mm -hmm. and the uh, Japanese players were so excited to announce that. Yes, yeah, so they went full Banzai. Yeah, that spread across the world. Uh, the printing press, which spawned in Friesland again. Yes, yeah, our uh, players have been doing well to spread institutions far and wide. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's global trade. It certainly is quite global. Yes, it's, it's gone through global. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, wow, there's not many places that don't have it. Nagai must have recently uh, got it integrated as well because it's uh, spreading quickly. And then the there are manufacturies, yeah. They've been out for 10 years. And we can see where the concentration Brunei of manufacturers are. Aye, Brunei looks like they've turboed, but Brunei are always quick to boast about their vast sums of money. Yes. So they've got it going. In fact, Indonesia in general is looking great for the manufacturers. It's all those great trade goods. Yes. Much and such the same in uh, expensive parts of yes. China. In uh, Oh, here we go. This is where manufacturers spawned, right here in Tanyor. Oh. And where was it? It was a 23 development cloth manufactory. The textiles would flow from India. The textiles must flow. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't quite have the same ring, that's why no. it never caught on. No. 
Uh, so Gujarat enjoying it, Persia just adding to that. Persia has uh, not enjoyed much for a no, long time. No. <laughs> Ethiopia, barren of manufactories. Yep. I guess they've been relying on their gold too much, but not investing it in other goods. That's going to bite them in Kilwar the future. Kilwar has a bit of manufacturing industry. Yeah, looks like it. So what have they been building up? They've got trade companies because they see the... they got the white gold, the red gold, and the... Uh, Grey the, gold. Yeah. But not the gold gold. Not, not that, the gold that's gold. Elsewhere. Uh, so it looks like they're keen on um, getting their manufacturers going here, and they'll probably embrace it when they can afford it. Otherwise, across the world, manufacturers... Well, no, the, the Ottomans are <laughs> looking kind of strong there. Europe, actually a little more barren than expected when it comes to the manufacturers. I mean, they got lucky by getting the printing press, but manufacturers, well, not without their charm. Dive, it's still demanding their okay, tribute. so we have almost full piece... Yeah, it's only uh, Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, it's all part of the Sunset Invasion. Yes. Is it still called the Sunset Invasion if the Incas do it? I mean, that's, that's a happier looking sun. Yeah, but you mean, that's, what's the difference between Incas and Aztecs? Yeah. It's all really the same. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Player Slayer saying he's only got nine corruption <laughs> left. It's, it's been 200 years since it's been this low. What a claim. 9.28 corruption and it's going down fast. I think he's spending everything on rooting it out. Yeah. Because uh, earlier on, when it was uh, Dai Viet versus Lang Shang, and while wow, those Lang Shang cores have been eradicated, uh, Dai Viet had to uh, corrupt hard. They they debased their currency really hard just to be able to chase out Gnevum once and for all. Yes, yeah, send them off to the. Yeah, send them off to the cold <laughs> Nagai. Yes. And oh wow! Oh dear! It's one thing to lose a war. Yes, I also got to say that you know Sweden perfectly balanced. Yeah, pitched to perfection. Yeah, I mean, hey, they lose to Lithuania, they beat Naga. It's balanced, right? They're eating up Denmark, but I think if we ever run uh, an overnight and find that that doesn't happen, we have to uh, yeah, yeah. we have to balance the game again. <laughs> Executive orders. So yes. Naga not looking not so hot on their victory point uh, victory cards for Moscow anymore. They still got the Kama. But they would have lost as all. Kama's going to get you. They <laughs> lost as all to the Ottomans. The Ottomans still. A now we just AI like to threat. say, as a double bonus here, no guy actually is the AI programmer. Yes. <laughs> just, just to really add to so the table oh, value. Oh, 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 now freedom! we're talking. Yes. Yes, that's what we need in life. What is good in life? Tra crushing your enemies, driving them before them, and hearing the lamentation of their golden horde. Oh yes. There we go. The Golden Horde is back, baby. Yes. And, oh, oh no, they're, they're a vassal of Nagai, so I don't think they're quite rising to... Uh, Give it the, time. Yeah, they, they will rise. They'll make Genghis yes. Khan proud. The Golden Horde will rise again. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. it's, it's oh, AI. No, he's down. Gnivnom is the Golden Horde, it says. No, he... he it's, that must be a bug. Huh? Where, where is it saying that? In, in the player list, Gnivnom is the Golden Horde. Did he release and play as the Golden Horde? Or did something go horribly wrong here? No, Golden Horde is Gnevum. <laughs> what he, happened? He has been so disgraced by Sweden, he's like, okay, that's it. He's rage quit. We're going full <laughs> golden. Unless something went wrong with yeah. the decision to form the Golden that Horde. That would be very funny. Yes. Very tragic. Very but amusing. Very funny. Yes. We will investigate this. Yeah. Our intrepid reporters. Actually, we, we will be keen to hear from uh, yes. Gnevum if he has any input on this. Or maybe maybe he went in and changed it just for this. He did that. The absolute madman. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. So how is life as the Golden Horde? you got growing corruption. Yes, well, I've, I've, I've pinged Gnevom to see uh -huh. if he wants to give us any comments about this. <laughs> because, I mean, maybe this is what he played for. Yeah, quite possibly. He wanted the gold rush, so yes. he went for it. Um, meanwhile, um, it's all looking a bit grim for Britain. As the Western Isles, we'd just like to say to our Western Isles fan base... There we go, Western Isles is here. You're now yes. getting 50% more salt. Okay, so uh, I got so much 100% autonomy, says uh, Gnevum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. We we actually we actually pinged you from uh, Chris here. So if you if you want to give us more in-depth analysis into the Golden Horde situation, maybe tell us how amazing it is. Then yes. uh, you let us know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, autonomy for the uh, the Nagai is looking tragic. 
I have mm. plenty of land mass, but just not good enough. Compare that to the likes of, you know, Vigianagar, where they have, uh, they got things under control. Rich land with no autonomy. Oh man, they're still there. Still fighting. Oh boy, and they still got Mawar as a subject as well. I don't think that, uh, that Gujarat's so keen to touch this land because increased core creation costs from Rajput's traditions. Nasty times. We're being told to admire the sunset invasion, and there we go, we have Incan Portugal. Well, at least half of Portugal. Yeah, but, oh, tons of development there. So what's that, uh, 40, 50? Uh, you guys can do better maths than me. Not bad from the Inca here. Are they keeping around? Yeah, they're standing put to solidify their position here. That also means armies that are not going to protect them if a certain uh, Brolumbia or any other kind of Brunation wants to saddle forth and gain their victory mm -hmm. cards. Meanwhile, it looks like it appears that um, Salty Daniel is continuing to attack Britain. Yeah, the attacks don't stop here. Yes. Clearly not looking good. Oh well, Britain was down and out the moment that they uh, got split in half at Lothian. Yes. I mean, as soon as the birthplace of Chris was secured. <laughs> that was it. It was, oh, it was nothing, nothing of value left. Nothing there, left there. Oh, Grievenom's launched a war, it's Golden Horde. <laughs> Mm. It's gone to war with <laughs> the third <coughs> Nagai conquest of Chagatai. So mm -hmm. I think AI Nagai is uh, it's going trying to the piece, rampage. Try to piece the empire back together, but that'll make uh, that should make him very proud as the AI programmer if Nagai can pull it all back where he fails. Yes. Is this in fact his plan? Hand mm. his country over to the AI for a little while, and then ask for a save game edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was by accident. Yes, what a I, shame. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Okay, so looking at the strengths here, tons of units hanging around and they're all very strong with their tech down here. They've been rich, they haven't had to pay through the nose for institutions. Mong Yang, yeah, just... Mong Yang continues to get those mountains. Many strong nations around here, but, uh, and, and yet, despite that, when it comes to score, Ethiopia is still number oh, one. Oh, dark. But uh, there's the thing, because you have a lot to chew through to get to Ethiopia. Well, I guess Vijayanagar... This could be used. If if you if Ethiopia have any sense for uh, defending themselves here, they'll need to invest in quite a navy to defend this. Mm -hmm. And again, their friends could just walk through here. What an army, though. Ethiopia are flaunting their stuff now. You know, where were these in the previous war? That's what I want to know. Uh, probably not born. No, probably not. Mm -hmm. But he's looking fine on the manpower. He's still running a comfortable surplus with such an army. Mm-hmm. And that's him at his force limit of 120. Compare that to the likes of Gujarat. They could field 120 of their own. How in the world does Gujarat field so many compared to Vijayanagar? I'm guessing it's quantity ideas that they've got. Probably offensive as well. There offensive. we go. They're going down the offensive, but offensive they have the quantity. quantity. So they're enjoying 50% force limit from that. Uh, no policies out of them. Same for Vijayanagar, but... Uh, Starnan, he's a power player. He'll find the policies that are suit him just fine. And I hear Vijayanagar. I just hear the jingle of Dosh, which means he's recruiting plenty oh, of Ethiopia units. Ethiopia has gone to war. What could it all mean? What are you doing here? Oh, the conquest of Surt from Kanembornu. Oh, Kanembornu is going down from Ethiopia. Now they're still allied with Mali, and Mali have joined in on uh, Kanembornu's side. So they're also at war with Ethiopia. Got to hand it here, this is a war for Africa. Yes. And once again, Mali had a decision to make, which side do I take? And they decided to side with Canon Bornu. Now where is Eth... Don't know, there's no victory card, is it, for Ethiopia? Uh, no, we saw theirs earlier. It did not involve... No, it was, it was Kilwa. West Africa here, it was Kilwa. But it looks like they just couldn't handle Canon Bornu being there. And this is Canon Bornu's moment of weakness. Or maybe they just want that state complete. It's not helping his OCD. Oh, yeah, quite possible. It's like yeah. march all the way down into... Take Manga just mm. to deny oh. Krugi. They could get there. They could get all the way yeah. there. That would be a You mean. will never have this, Krugi. It's yeah. Ethiopian now. No, I think they're going to blitz through this, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now we've got Fido at war with someone. And is it not Malacca? Oh, they did eat up some Malacca. They're at war with Bengal, uh, but but why? But why? We don't know. War of Ayutthaya aggression. 
That's what? very strange. Very aggressive. They're not rivals. They're not. Uh, okay. May uh, well, I'm maybe, sure Fido has his reasons. Maybe Fido can uh, fill us in on why. Mm -hmm. We're not all that sure here. All right. So Canon Borneo decided to take the uh, uncolonized path into Ethiopia, striking them at their fortification here. But Cannon Bornu just mass infantry charge. They don't bring the cannons. I think Mali is going to be very much regretting siding with the cannon here. Do you think he should have taken his opportunity to opportunity go was, for victories? Opportunity was knocking for Mali. The thing is, they could have secured their victory cards, all of them, mm -hmm. if they had just stabbed Cannon Bornu. Oh. And that would have raised them far up. And in look this. who else has joined in the attack on Cannon Oh boy, Naples. It's everyone's favourite Johan. Okay. Johan Anderson. Now I think his his first and final territorial demand will be yes. the uh, the island of Jerba. Oh, yeah, do you think so? Nah, there's no way he'd ask for more. Oh. So we have uh Oh, Jesper or Fido saying check out his absolutism. Okay. We'll have a look at it right there. Oh ho! So he's got sixty percent absolutism, and mm -hmm. his maximum goes up to eighty-four. Yeah. That's very good because yeah. uh, that's going to give him a huge boost to administrative efficiency, okay. and his discipline's going up. Yes, no, this is definitely a uh, power play from uh, yeah. from Fido, here. Yeah, no, okay, Johan. So poor Grekulf. His, yeah, I think his, his days are numbered, but he's going to be. Well, I don't know. He's definitely got a lot of territory. I mean, it's it's not like one war and it's all over for him. True that. I mean, if we were to look at this, it would take quite a number of wars to chew through him. But it's he's... also going to just depend really what these things want. I mean, it does make sense from reg from Ethiopia's point of view to get coastline oh, so he can get ships. He will want ships for his own defense. Looks like he's coming down. We're going to see what happens when you mass infantry charge against the, the very elaborate makeup of the Ethiopian army. Ethiopia also bringing in a uh, three shock general. Cannon Borno seems to have forgotten theirs. And uh, oh my, like that, that is not the uh, no, the this look of could be one hell of a beating. Well, it was close. There was an attempt, yes, and uh, they're doing the Sad march home now, slouched over, gun in hand, put in their place by Ethiopia as Ethiopia comes marching down from the north. Uh, looks like Joanne's being a bit denied here. Yes, I he, wonder... he landed over on the island, yeah. which is fortified. He's going to have to uh, take a bit of time carving that out. He didn't bring enough cannon to do a barrage. Mm, seems like he's Oh, and does Clemson also joined in. Oh boy, oh, it's a bad day to be Cannon Borno. It's a bad and day to be Cannon Borno. Mali have joined in two wars, and at the third yes, he went. Two wars, it. and I'm out. I've repaid whatever debt there was. Now that's going to give him a five year truce with Cannon Borno, which does not just allow him to stroll in and take yes, him over. One does not simply walk into Cannon Borno. Well, unless they're, unless they're Ethiopians, because no, yeah, no, they're no, doing no, a yeah. fine <laughs> job of that. Somebody's asking what's the most developed land in the world. I don't even need to check. It's Ayutthaya. 81, 81 development. development. Yes. So, Fido has a dream. The cost for uh, <laughs> developing this province is further modified by development plus 888%. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. It's possible, but not going to be easy to hit that 100 development that he so desires. And I think I remember him saying, that's it. If I hit 100, I don't care if I get eaten or declared on by everyone. Yeah, no, that's it. I did. Do Just, what you want, I've already yes, won. I, yeah, yes, no one, but no one will ever match that achievement. No. <laughs> and we're not going to make that an achievement. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> there are some achievements which even so, we won't drop to. Yeah. All right, second most developed land <laughs> in the world. <laughs> now that we will have to check for. Yes. But we have the technology. Do we? Uh, I think so, I hope so. There should be one for provinces. Or does this only check your own... Ah, it only checks your own ones. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yes, so... No idea. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if there's a province page for it. Province development, page 10. Uh, oh, well. Well, let's see. All right, who, who's got the best around here? This is only between players. Ethiopia. Alex. Ethio yeah, Ethiopia. Well, we could filter out there. Yeah. Ah, but Ethiopia still have the second best over at Alexandria. No reason not to. It is, after all, farmland, temperate, uh, coastal center of trade. 
And, you know, he obviously wants us to push the uh, the slave trade going, so yeah, it's turbo not? developed there in Alexandria. Okay, so Kilwa has gone to war. So he decided to attack. Oh, oh Cannonball. Oh, okay, attacker against Cannonborno. He's joined in on Ethiopia's war here. And uh, All right, that's because so he wants this piece of Mali. Perhaps it was a mistake of Mali to get down into Do you Kilwa's want a piece of Mali? Do you want a piece of Mali? Oh, he wants more than just a piece. But how far are they going to push this, I wonder? Because hmm. no cannon born who's goose Yeah, cook. see, the only thing is, if you look at the war score, 19, that's all. Oh, 19, the, 4, 17. But that's because Mali is involved and they still yes, have all this I mean, untouched land. And there's basically some of that land there from Kanemboru, no, probably not the best real estate. No. I do wonder what the end game goal here is, because Mali is the one that actually controls all the gold. Oh. Someone's suggesting we should take a look at Ayatau, see if any of the on the development map mode. Mm hmm Right, so get the old development map mode fired up. We have the power, we have the technology. Alright, so there's the green. Yes, but if you notice none of it's really red if you compare to Yeah, compared to the others. Yeah. This this is dynamic depending on who you click on because it'll show you like a comparative within the country. But Ayutai are really bringing the, the green out and making everywhere else look pretty garbage by comparison. But if yeah. we go to somewhere that doesn't see Ayutai, uh, do Inca know of the uh, Ayutaians? Yeah, try, um, try Canon Bono. Uh, make our way over here. Oh. Ah, they know of them. Never mind. So yeah, they, they're sucking up all the green here. Because this map mode will... Um, mm -hmm will make the uh, the highest developed province you see, the the green one and everything else. So I think uh, Fido is making his statement here. Yes. Like there's no place like Ayutai. Yes. Meanwhile, Grekulf, I think, has... Oh, boy. Has Mali left the war? Mali have left all but this uh, Ethiopian war, and I strongly suspect that's because there are demands to be placed here. Meanwhile, if we also look here... Um, I wonder if he's going to push in for a counter-attack. Because Ethiopia now is 100% war score over Cannon Bornu. Yeah, Cannon Bornu will have surrendered here, that's what it looks like. Oh. The only stuff that uh, didn't get transferred was the stuff that Tlemcen already occupies. Kielba sending in their demands, one, two, three, four, five, six provinces. Once in a lifetime opportunity there. Yeah. Our laser. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're not looking to push any further than Loango. That might be just the limit of what they can take though. Mm, possibly. Well, we can actually check that, so let's pretend for a moment that yes. we are. Aye, they were a non co belligerent, so even if they take this land, or if they surrender this land, Mali might not be safe from future attacks. Oh, here comes. Naples want the peace. Now, what if they were to make their peace and uh, turn around to smack Naples, I wonder? Because oh. Naples is making some hefty demands for someone that's only occupied three provinces. They say, I want all three of them. I want and it all, and what, I want it now. What a move by oh. Ethiopia. They're actually cutting off Neapolitan expansion here. And, and uh, Did um, Trinitragula get anything out of that war? Let's see. Yeah, oh. a little bit. The thing is, they were in no position to force Mali into that piece. Yeah, so not as much as they had hoped. Oh, no. Bjorn B's gone to war, my goodness. Now I've seen it all. Yeah. What are you doing, Pasai? At war with Portugal? Portugal, jeez. Attacker against Portugal in the Pasai, Rio de Praten colonial war. So, okay, he's, uh, he's looking to smooth out this somewhat ugly border. Yes. I can respect that. Desperately trying to improve the feng shui here. Mm -hmm. And the Grugi man's at war with someone. Yeah, all those wars for... Oh, Yamana is now at war with Canem Bornu. Jesus Will this Christ, greed Grugi. never end? What, what war of your mana aggression is it this time? Uh, I think it'll be the fourth. No, they oh, actually no. have uh, Conquest of Lunda. I forgot that this was well, actually owned well. by Canon Bornu. Oh well, not for long. No, Canon Bornu is the hottest thing around. Yeah. Everybody wants a piece, it's very fashionable. Yeah. And note that Naples have actually sailed around to uh, to come and attack from the south now. So they is, thought the north's a bust. Is the Grugmeister in pursuit of manga? He wouldn't not be. No. I mean, is it still his God-given mission in life? Yes. We must recover it. And, well, some prestige and legitimacy. Yes. He needs both. Can't be, can't, not to be sniffed at. 
Mm-hmm. And he's on his way. <laughs> Yamana and Naples. Looks like they're doing... It's like a race for Berlin here. Yes. Who will be the one to claim manga? Are they going to have to, like, draw a line in the middle of it? Yes, like, so East manga is... and West manga. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not doing it for that. Oh, no, oh, we don't. Oh, we, we don't. don't. <laughs> we don't yes. know you're not doing We're it not for that. We're not psychics, people, really. I mean... Scots have many abilities, yes. but uh, being psychic... Psycho, maybe, but... No. Uh, yes, yeah. that's why I spend a lot of my life permanently surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. A very unique look to Scots, a look of surprise that no other race can quite match. Yes, that's like Mel's surprise. You know. <laughs> sort of like a Victorian detective. Oh, hello, what do we have here? You know, so. <laughs> when we say, what do you have here, so it's it's not us being uh, coy here. We're just like, oh, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. Yeah, what do you call that food? It's green. <laughs> <laughs> what are they green things? Yes. Those are peas, Chris. Oh. Can, man. Yes, it's like, you know, Europe was getting a lettuce shortage, and in Scotland they went... What's a lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. However, it appears that Ethiopia is looking a lot bigger, but a lot of it's wasteland. And uh, can't imagine. Yeah, there's a fair share of um, devastation around here. Thankfully, this well placed fort should be able to alleviate quite a bit of that. It's not an up to date fort, but it'll still do part of the trick there. And uh, I wonder what Canon Bornu's thinking here. Their ally has decided to leave oh, them. Oh, Starnan's at war. People are curious. Oh, what's he up to now? Nagai. Oh. The purge of Nagai heresy. Well, that's no longer a player of war after Grievedom's tactical move. Well, no. You never know what he can manage with the Golden Horde. Yes. I mean, he's got those power ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is interesting because, you know, last session it was all like, la di da people are just uh, being all friendly. And you said this is just the calm before the storm. I did. Everybody just wants to, you know, polish the brass on the uh, on the shields and be ready. And you're right. It's been quite a few player wars this session. Mm -hmm. Now, what's Gujarat doing to poor Nagai? Well, Trying to be friends. Well, it, yeah, they're going for a visit. This is this is one way about it. Now, poor Nagai here is not very well defended. I mean, no. this is the only fort they're going to see for miles, and then there's only no, nah, they're not even. It's not one even at Novi. Uh, no, no, not, not even. Maybe not the, even maybe, a fort in no game. Maybe there that's was a capital once. fort. Ah, that's right. Oh, that's going to fall in no time then to the mighty armies mm -hmm. of Gujarat. Well, so, maybe he's going to actually demand province transfers to the Golden Horde. Yeah, don't give me this false hope. <laughs> no, but, uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's like you will free Golden Horde and give him everything. Everything he wants, Starnan. You know it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's what the fans want too, don't you, fans? Are you not entertained? Ah, ah, yes, oh. Okay, I, I actually want to get a look at the player map mode here because we can see just how much... If you compare this to the starting point where, you know, there were lots of little blobs of players, it's all really filling out now. Not to the same extent that it does when we start in Europe. But, no, uh, I mean, Africa's almost out of... Yeah, there's almost no AI left to eat, and the one AI that's left keeps, like, slamming into poor Greykolf and taking away that but, land. But fortunately, I think both Johan and... Regia took it on themselves to make sure this will not happen again. Yeah. <laughs> Taking uh, Canon Bornu into protective custody. Yes. Oh yes, the Ottomans are indeed yes correctly on the um, the rampage. We we uh, um, heard demands to nerf Lithuania. Yes, yeah, so we're nerfing them by yeah. way of Turkoman. Yes, so they're now getting Turk. I bet uh, I bet Canadian was really wishing he was still in the guy to take advantage of this because now he could jump in and take Finland for himself. Well, not anymore because Sweden's so deep into Russia. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was not part of the plan, though. Yes, <laughs> but yes, you that, don't mess with Johnny Turk. That's yeah. the rules, as you can see. He's bringing so. on the pain. Yeah, and the guy forgot just how balanced uh, Sweden and Ottomans were. Yes, uh, could not just simply walk in and this, yeah, this, this is just one example. definitely does not just simply walk into Turkey. In no. they go and blow them away. Yes. Oh, actually, good, nice fight by Livonian Order, but not nice enough. And here we go, like, uh, Gujarat aren't even scared of the Nagai armies. No. They're strolling in, and they're at Tech 21, which is another fantastic tech to have. Splitting up their armies, carpet sieging the guy, it's a foregone conclusion mm -hmm. that uh, they're going to get Gujaratted. So, yeah, explosive growth from Gujarat this session. They take a huge chunk oh, out of Persia. Oh, Vianagar's been kind of polishing off a bit of Yemen. 
Yeah, that's true. They're also building up their navy of heavies and transports. Yeah, I Now, I don't why. know why they would need such a thing. I mean, Me neither. Any news from Gnevenom? Nope, he is this most definitely sulking on our chat channel. We are waiting to see if he has anything to say, but no. No, no further news, unfortunately. And why is Nevon the Golden Horde? We do not know. If, if, if He <laughs> will likely come down towards the end of it and uh, give so. a quick explanation. Which should to... be fantastic. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. I was hoping it was like, oh, he did the decision and the decision... Broke. <laughs> make <laughs> you have one province be a subject and make you Golden Horde. Uh, would make my day, but it looks like this is a, a choice for the man. God damn. I mean to choose a man. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is, this is the old <coughs> story, but oh, yeah, this, this is this is unfortunately uh, I hate to admit it, but this is a failure on the player side to contain the Ottomans. They have just allowed them to go. The Ottomans would attack one player, the rest would cave in and go, I, I don't want to dirty my hands here. Yes. And then the Ottomans turn and it's like, you know, when they attacked the Persians, I did not speak up. I yes. was not Persian. Fra yes. When they came for Ethiopians, I, I was I, Keelwin, so yes. <laughs> I did not speak. I crapped it for I was Ethiopia, but yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <that's... laughs> that's... As soon as like there'll be no one left for the Ottomans to come for, they're, they're on a rampage here. <laughs> but I think people are putting their faith in Brunei. Brunei knows how to take down big powers. Yes. British smashed. Iberia, well, I don't really approve what? of the mess left oh, behind. Oh, he's found so. the manga. Oh, we found it. We found manga. <laughs> well done, Grug. Yes. You did it. We all believed in you. Yes. So there we go. He's, uh... He's devastated the manga. Uh, just a bit, but not half as much as Brano was tasting it. And uh, I think... I think uh, he's gone bankrupt. I think he has. That was... No. Mm, is he? And maybe he's just not paying uh, for anything right now. Oh, well, we can have a quick look over in Canon Borneo. What's the situation for you? Are you or are you not bankrupt? No, I think he's just... He's not paying his army. He doesn't have the money to. He's trying to avoid bankruptcy. Oh, interesting. But, uh, interesting move. Yeah. Mali must really be shaking their head right now, thinking we chose the wrong side. But it's not too late. In less than a year, in less than a year, they will be uh, more than able to, to, fight to fulfill Canada. their destiny, <laughs> fulfill their own Malian cultural uh, by freeing the victory cards. Yes, the now, victory cards must flow. But the problem is, they decided to side with Canon Borno. Do you think the other players would be all that happy to go? Yeah, okay. You know, why don't you take your well, victory cards? Well, if now? I I can remember way back when. When he decided to side with Bratton, mm -hmm. who was, I can't remember what country he was in there. That was when he jumped in as a Songhai? Songhai? Something like that, yeah. yes. Some, 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 some crappy nation. Uh, they're gone now. They're yes, gone. They're, they're Nothing gone. Nothing but a footnote. Yes. And and then decided instead to team up with Grekulf in Canon Bornu. Plus, I mean, I don't think he would want to be the only player who didn't attack Canon Bornu. <laughs> Which at this rate is looking like it, you know. I know you're either in the club or you're out of it. Yes, yeah, you know you've got to be in it to win it. Okay, so Naples. Now they only have two territorial demands. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe they just don't think they can handle it. But uh, you can look at this. handle the Naples. They're all the way up here. They've got plenty of war score. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're trying to force peace them. Mm, quite possibly. If we look at Canterbury, they've got no stability. They have very low admin power. They wouldn't be able to buy it up. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, quite the partition here. Mm. So there's the thing. Do you think other players would just let Mali take their victory cards? Because I'm not so sure they'd be all that forgiving about it. Well, depends. That would rocket them up in score. Oh, there we go. First stab hits. Oh, yeah. It's going down. They won't last much longer. Yes. In it comes. And oh, if we uh, if we say no, great turmoil. Let's see. Well, will the stab hit again? Because I'm pretty sure Johan would actually quite like him. To um, to refuse this, and then he can hopefully maybe just clock up that bit more war score and oh, up the yeah. offer. Oh yeah, but of course uh, Yamana have their own uh, demands to make here. Yes, but, we but know, if I was in, we if, know all group cares about is the manga though. Oh yeah, it's only here for the manga. 
It's not long before we get to see what Mali's going to do because Mali would have gotten that alliance back. Oh, there we go. Minus Bornu. three stability. Minus two now. Minus two. They're one more away from not being able to deny it. Although they could still. Mm -hmm. uh, they're paying the price of being corrupted now. Mm -hmm. 